I'm Jackie Curtis, president and co-owner of More Than Cake, the finest in powdered flavoring. Um, today, I'm going to teach you how to use our finer filling product, which is a new product to us. Um, we have tested it in our last three trade shows, and um, out of all of the flavors that we showed, we picked our favorite top 11, actually your favorite top 11. Um, so today, we're going to show you how to use the um, white chocolate raspberry. And in this, you'll see uh, these little red pieces. Yes, they do belong there because these are actually um, little pieces of dried raspberries. Um, before we get to that, however, I would like to show you some of our uh, other products that we carry. Um, first, we have our edible petals. And these are new labels. Um, so if you are familiar with us and you're saying, oh, this isn't them, it doesn't look like their label, um, I assure you it is us. There is only one us. Um, and this is our brand new label, and I'm really proud of these. We've worked very hard on them. Um, our Edible Petals is a line of floral fragrances, and they, it can be used on um, your gum paste, sugar paste, flowers. Um, you can use it on a silk flower. You just simply brush it on, or you can mix it with your petal dust. Um, these come in 14 gram sizes. If you are a teacher, you teach cake decorating in the classroom, um, Nick Lodge at uh, International Sugar Art Collection does have a seven gram size exclusive to him that is perfect for teachers in the classroom. Um, so you can contact him if you uh, want that smaller size. Otherwise, just like with all of our other flavors, please look on our website um, and you can, you'll see what our flavors are and who our distributors are and how to get them. This is our perfect palette line, which is our new label. Also for those, we have um, just about 30 uh, flavors that you have all chosen uh, through different trade shows. The, uh, this is actually my favorite label. I think it represents us really well. You'll see this in stores. Uh, we do have two stores, um, in one in Louisiana and one in uh, Miami, Florida that have these jars in their stores now. This is a 16 gram jar. And the last jar that I'd like to show you is our jar for Hobby Lobby. We are in Hobby Lobby um, as of this past February. They do carry six of our uh, uh, Perfect Palette flavors. You can go on our website and see which flavors they do carry before you go out to the store. Um, but I do want to say thank you for supporting us with Hobby Lobby. This is uh, really a, a great venture for us and we're very excited that uh, they came and chose our flavor and carry. You will find it in their store in the party aisle next to their fondant and uh, buttercream. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to mix your uh, finer fillings. On the back of our packet, it gives you several recipes. It gives you the recipe first for your filling for your cakes or your cupcakes. Um, it also gives you a recipe for a no-bake cheesecake. Um, for cream puffs. This can also be used as fruit dip, individual desserts. Um, you just have fun with it. Have, you know, if you find something different that you have made with it, please let us know and we'll be happy to put it on our website uh, to share with you. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can do, you can use it for several different um, things. Obviously, our main uh, purpose is for a filling on a cake. Um, the two that I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you how to use it for a filling in your cake and also how to make a simple uh, mini dessert out of it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take, it takes actually, it takes three ingredients. This packet, um, a cream cheese and your favorite whipping cream. Um, it tells you on the back your measurements that you're going to use and the measurements that I'm going to use today because I want mine to be thicker is eight ounces of cream cheese and eight ounces of my whipping cream. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. The first thing that I'm going to do is put in my um, cream cheese. And you want to make sure that you blend that up really, really well. You don't want any little lumps or anything in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. this pretty well and creamy. So now that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my filling mix and just cut this open and add it to my cream cheese. 
and I'm just going to dump that entire pack in there. Make sure I get all those little pieces of dried raspberry. And I'm going to mix this in same. I'm going to make sure that it's really nice and blended um, and nice and creamy. Okay, I think that looks really good. It looks like it's pretty well blended in there, nice color. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my um, whipping cream and I'm going to put that into this bowl. Now, when I mix this, I'm just going to mix it for a minute, uh, actually a few seconds, um, just to blend it in and then I'm going to finish blending it by hand. Okay. So I'm going to finish mixing this up with my wooden spoon. And just get it all blended really nice. It's really a pretty pink. Feels nice and thick. Okay, so that's what your filling should look like when you're finished mixing it. Now what I would do is take this and I'm going to put it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and let it chill. Um, if I were putting it into a no-bake cheesecake or I wanted to use it later on. You can cover this and put it in your uh, refrigerator up to a week in a sealed container. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill my uh, cake with it now so that I could just show you how to use it. And then I'm going to actually put my cake into the refrigerator. So I have all of my filling now and I've taken it and I've put it in a 16-inch pastry bag. So as you can see, it gives you quite a bit. And I'm just going to take this and just put a generous amount. I like to go a little bit from my end. And I'm just going to go all the way around until I have a nice amount of cake filling. Now, if you were going to be adding more raspberries, to this, the only thing that you would really want to make sure is that they're cut up small enough so that they don't get stuck in your tip. Okay, so I'm just going to take my spatula, just smooth that a little tiny bit so that we have a nice layer. This one I did it so that it was thick. If you wanted it to be a thinner, um, let you know, a thinner uh, filling, you would be mixing 16 ounces of your whipped cream versus the eight that I did, but I purposely wanted it to be thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my second layer. I'm going to set it right on top of there, and I'm going to go ahead and follow the same step that I just did. Now that I have the second layer in there, I'm just going to do the same thing, smooth it around, make sure it's pretty level, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another layer to this. Now, I'm making this a really tall cake, so this makes plenty of uh, filling. It would be double this, actually, if I did add the other, um, you know, the other eight ounces of the whipped cream. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to put in a third layer because this is going to be a four-layer cake. So I'm going to now do what I just did on the first two. And then once that is finished, I'm going to go ahead and just now put the top on my cake. When I slice it, I actually use the bottom for the top so that I don't have to worry about that being uneven. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the kitchen and I'm going to melt some chocolate. And I'm going to actually pour chocolate over the top of this and put some uh, fresh raspberries on top and around my plate. Okay, so while my chocolate is getting ready, I still have some filling mix in the bag that I don't want to go to waste. Um, so what I've done is I have made some little mini 
waffle cones. Um, I did a couple different sizes to show you that you can actually do these in different sizes. I made a, a larger one and a smaller one and then I turned around and I dipped the tops in chocolate. I just like that little extra bit of um, sweetness to it, especially if I'm using the sea salt caramel one. I'll dip it in chocolate and then actually put a little bit of uh, sea salt um, on the edges. So uh, that's a great one for you to try. So I'm going to take what I have left and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to um, squeeze this and fill this in my cones. And then you have a little, I'm going to do a couple little decorated ones. And I'll do a big one here. We'll snack on these after I finish. Luckily my husband's not home or he'd get them all before you'd actually see them finished. Okay, so now I've done these cones and I've put my filling in them. And if you are using um, your filling mix just to do desserts or just to do these cones, I did over a hundred of these cones um, for a wedding and had plenty of filling to do them. You can also do a nice little uh, graham cracker crust uh, bottom in a little with uh, mixed with butter and uh, put the key lime in there and cut that up into little cheesecake bars. That, that's another wonderful and just give it a little bit of a zest on top for a garnish. Um, now that I have these done, what, you can decorate the top of these with whatever, whatever you want. Um, I guess the big one over here, I'm just going to go ahead and take um, a little piece of a raspberry and just stick it in the top so that when you bite into that, you're also getting a bite of the raspberry. Um, just to give you an idea on that one. One of my favorite things to do with my cones is actually these little... Um, mini chocolate chips. I love these little mini chips. And we do uh, pistachios. There really isn't anything that you couldn't uh, put on the top of them. And then you just put them around um, if you have a little cone, mini cone holder, or just lay them around nicely around your plate. So that gives you really pretty desserts. So now we're going to go see if our um, chocolate is ready to pour on top of our cake. So here's your other idea of something that you can do with our fillings. I finished melting my chocolate and before I pour it over the top of my cake, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these cones and just drizzle it over the top. All that goodness. It's going to be a yummy dessert. And because I like chocolate so much, I'm going to go ahead and do it with one with my chocolate chips and do a little overkill here. All right, so I didn't, um, all I did with this is just melted chocolate. I didn't put any uh, cream or anything in it. I just, it's only because of the way I wanted the dessert today. Um, when this gets cold in the refrigerator, because I used the no-bake cheesecake recipe on here for my filling, this is going to be more like a, a cheesecake filling uh, when it gets cold. So I'm just going to take this chocolate and just pour it over the top and let it fall down the sides. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is I have a few um, fresh raspberries and I'm going to take those and just put them on the top. And I'm just going to put them around so that every piece has a bite of raspberry. And I'm not going to kill it by putting more chocolate chips on it. If you wanted to, you could turn around and scoop this and let it come down more on the other side. You know, I clean up my plate later, so I'm not really too concerned with what it looks like um, at this point. Um, so there we have it. That's how we would make our filling. And as you can see on our bag, I still have filling mix left. And we have, I've used this for several layers and for some desserts. Um, and if I, I don't like waste, so I would go ahead and put this on like a little chocolate wafer. 
um, or something like that and put it in the refrigerator and then I have a quick snack. Um, so there you have it. I, if you have suggestions on our flavors um, or any of our fillings on how you've used them, please um, send me an email. I'd love to hear your suggestions and my email is more than cake, M-O-R-E-T-H-A-N cake at AOL.com. And check us out on our website at www.morethancakeonline.com um, for information of our products, new uses. Um, we're going to try and start blogging pretty soon and uh, keeping you um, just up to date on everything that's happening. And uh, you'll be able to see where our shows are and where we're going and who our new distributors are. Um, and I guess that's all I have for you today. So thank you for being um, here with me and being patient as this is new to me, uh, being on this side of the camera. I honestly don't know how anybody does this.